Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Redden and today I'm going to take on one of the Nailed It challenges from the Netflix series. A few of you have asked me to do it. If you haven't seen the show, basically what they do is they take a group of bakers who have said they can't bake and then they give them a challenge and a time limit to reproduce a cake. Now I've watched this a couple of times and both times I've gone, there's no way you can make it in that time. The cakes aren't going to be able to cool, it's not going to work. So I thought we'd actually give it a go and see if experienced bakers can do it in that time. So I'm not holding out hope, I think it's all not going to work, but we'll give it a go. I'm not going to do it alone though, I have all the way from the UK, Zoe from Zoe's Fancy Cakes. If you haven't Hi. seen her YouTube channel before, make sure you go check it out. Save YouTube Bakers, she's actually a proper YouTuber with great baking and does Thank really, you. really high quality good stuff. Thank you. you can't come all the way to Australia and not get gifts. Tim Tams oh, in all different flavours. Thank for you. you. Oh, all different flavours. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> Caramello koalas. Oh, thank you so much. A little toy Vegemite oh. so that you've got a toast like in my kitchen at home. Thank you. And some <laughs> actual Vegemite. You've been here before, oh, so I assume you've tasted you. Vegemite. Do you know what? I can't remember if I have. Just in case oh I got God. some. <laughs> Not as offensive as I imagine. <laughs> I personally hate Vegemite. Sorry to all the Aussies out there. Oh, I don't like Vegemite. Make it. <laughs> my kids love it. My husband loves it. Everyone else loves it's, it. Yeah, like I say, it's okay. All right, so we're going to start this challenge. We're going to do the one where they made princess cakes. I'm not going to give you a picture of how you have to decorate it because you know how to decorate a princess doll cake. You can do it however you like. So we are going to have 45 minutes on the clock starting now. <laughs> this is so stressful. I never right. have to okay. do it to a time. <laughs> Gonna be inviting me around to bake again. <laughs> Not melted yet. <gasps> She's still oh, so this bit, this bit's in We only have one microwave. Now this is a major disadvantage. They all have their own workstations. We have this cramped space for both of us. <laughs> no extra time. We're just gonna stick to the 45 minutes because I feel like the people competing. I'm didn't gonna get find extra your time. timer and change it if they can. <laughs> oh, it's over there. So you can see we've oh, gone five yeah. minutes gone already. Oh, okay. And we haven't got our cakes in the oven. We haven't even melted the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> haven't finished step one. 45 minutes is not looking like it's gonna happen. At when all. I'm in a rush, like I'm rereading the same line <laughs> of the recipe and it's, it's not going in. Give this a mix. Chuck this in. Here You're way ahead of me. Mix it in. Whisking, yes, but you can do this on the electric mixer. I'm going to do it by hand because my mix is not that big for this bowl. <laughs> I just feel like you're taking it easy watching you. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be finished yours in 10 minutes. Uh, no way, it's going to bake. Normally I would break them into a separate bowl so I can see if I've put eggshells in, but it's just, it's just an extra step. I'm going to put them straight in here. And bake them about it in. One, two, three. <laughs> you could definitely couldn't enter any kind of baking competition while you're baking. When you're on the spot against somebody. I... And when you're timed, I'm just putting flour everywhere. This is not good. Okay, I need to slow down. I think it's safe to say I'd be pretty rubbish on, that, on the British Bake Off. <laughs> yeah, because that's timed too, but I feel like they give them a decent amount of time for that. Okay, so whisking in the sugar. But we're at 36 the minutes. We've nearly used a whole 10 minutes, and our cakes still aren't even in the oven. I know, my eggs aren't even mixing in very quickly. Making these a bit thinner than normal. I'm hoping that they'll bake. I'm gonna get these in the oven. Oh, I almost forgot my um, baking powder. Got a cream, here we go. Okay, do I know if these are evenly spaced? Or evenly distributed? <laughs> my bowl is tiny because I've got the mini mixer. I gave you the big mixer. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> I'm going to put you into it a little trick okay. and see if it works. I'm going to put glad wrap over the top. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Well, I don't know if it's going to work yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't give it too much praise. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to go hard. Oh, I'm going to go really for it. That's a really good idea. Yay! Hey, not that going anywhere. Idea. That's really good. I feel like I need to do the same. My hole's massive in mine, so it's not going to contain that much. 
and get it out of the hot tray and then put this in the freezer and see if we can get it to cool down. I'm making our little top. Now I can copy you because now you're ahead of me. <laughs> I do think homemade cakes taste heaps better. Definitely. But if you don't have time, if you've got 45 minutes, you don't have time. On a few pounds since I dressed her. <laughs> That's good, that's just more realistic. <laughs> Everyone always asks what the spray is that I use when I'm rolling out fondant. It's literally cooking oil spray. And it just stops the rolling pin from sticking, stops the fondant from drying out. I should probably not spend too long on putting pearls on her top and have a look at my cake, shouldn't I? Maybe. What if your cake burns? How much time have I got? 15 minutes. Okay, when it gets to 10, I want to start assembling. Actually, right now, I really want to start assembling. But I'm just going to put a few little decorations on. I'm going to go for white. The competitors on the show don't have to yeah. fix cameras. <laughs> no. <laughs> In the middle of their time, this is a bit of an unfair disadvantage. <laughs> We're still working on your face. We have 10 minutes left. Oh my goodness, 10 <laughs> minutes. Well, she's going to have to go on a warm cake. 10 minutes and we're happy to have been started assembly. Number one way of making a cake fail, it's a warm cake. I think because it's warm, it's not going to carve. Are we high enough yet? Yes, I think so. It does make such a big difference though, doesn't it? A warm cake. I'm not even convinced her skirt's going to stay upright. Go. That's going to do. How to hole down the middle. We have six minutes remaining. Oh, I'm wondering if she'll go in without a hole. Moment of truth. Move her hair. There we go. It's in. Yes. Oh no! She's, she's leaning. She's uh -oh. leaning quite a lot. Is that because it's warm? I think so. And also when I put the buttercream on, I think I've kind of pushed the cake over to one side. You should take your time, do it carefully. But we have four and a half minutes left and I haven't even started rolling my buttercream. I don't have my buttercream. My fondant. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get fondant on my cake. I'm only 45 minutes. No one can do it better. No. So I feel like it's setting up a show to go, hey, let's get something you're not very good setting at. Setting you up for failure. And setting you up for failure and then we'll laugh at you. <laughs> People like to laugh at things that don't <laughs> Now that we're on season three, if you're going to go on the show, you should know that that's the context of the show. Okay, stick my fingers in and make it look lumpy dumpy. Then maybe I can get away with the fact that it's very lumpy dumpy. One minute and ten seconds. Let's make it look like. No, it's not looking like creases. It's not working. Just get this fondant on. So usually I use like ganache as well. Instead of just buttercream? Yeah, just because it's a little bit firmer. It depends who the cake's for on what I'm doing, but usually ganache gives me like a firmer finish for if I'm decorating something for a little yes. while. Yeah, she is just, her skirt is getting shorter and sticking out the back more and more. So I know she's getting some sugar pearls or something, but time is not going to allow for We have 15 pearls. seconds. starting to lean because it's warm so this thing yeah. is going to slide over do you think we should show them them from the back yeah <laughs> so i didn't finish sealing it in at the back here oh I... <laughs> <laughs> and the same problem with this dress it's a new trend <laughs> i don't mean to laugh but your princess is terrifying <laughs> is that possible <laughs> if you have made a cake fail i've got a couple of cake fail rescue videos that you can go to to rescue your cake from this point. <laughs> if you want to know how to do different fondant decorations, head on over to Zoe's channel. She does beautiful, beautiful cakes. I'll flash up some pictures I now so you believe me. I promise they don't quite look like this one. <laughs> well, I do a lot of doll cakes as well, but yeah. But not like this. this. Yeah. So 45 <laughs> minutes is not enough time, not even for people who bake and decorate a lot. <laughs> Thank you also to my patrons for sponsoring this channel. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your support. It really encourages me as well as pays for ingredients so that I can make videos for you guys. And shout out to Rode. This is called the Wireless Go. It's a really cool little invention. So you get two little boxes. One sits on you and you can use that as the microphone or attach a lav mic and one sits same size sits over on your camera and so that you can get good sound. So go oh, check out right. the Rode Wireless Go. That was a thing. Very, very cool. They also sent me another big microphone. This, which you definitely can't stick on you like a lav mic. <laughs> this one is if you guys want me to do any ASMR videos, let me know in the comments and I will 
give it a go. Thanks to Road, thanks to my patrons, and thank you to Zoe. Subscribe to Hedge with Subscribe to Zoe's Zoe's Fancy Cakes. Make it a great week, <laughs> and we'll see you on Friday. See ya. Bye.